Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on May 13th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes and volcanoes and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the last 48 hours at 304 angstroms and still pulsating C-class solar flares, long duration solar flares. No more M-class solar flares as we've seen multiple M-class over the past seven days. Coronal hole regions are turning away when you have six active sunspot regions. Four in the northern hemisphere and two in the southern. Plasma filaments still intact across the northern hemisphere. And watching the last image right there, a little plasma filament eruption. Look at that. So, big flare coming out of a sunspot region, turning away, creating a coronal mass ejection. Plasma filament eruption is visible on the ISWA space prediction spiral. Also going to have a look at multi-spectrum last 48 hours of events here. This is where we can see the active sunspot regions firing off C-class solar flares. Coronal hole diminishing and turning away. It was in the equatorial region. And as well, the plasma filaments here. And watching the northern hemisphere right here, as we do have a plasma ejection taken off right from the North Pole yet again. And this is the second time this month that this has happened. Lots of activity in the North Pole and South Pole of our sun. Maybe a sign of things to come here with the magnetic reversal. But watching in this last image, you can see flare taking off producing a plasma filament eruption right there. Wow, that's a big one. Now let's have a look at our space weather conditions. As we do, we are in a, we are under no space weather conditions actually. Solar X-ray flux remains in C range. As you can see, one, two, three, four firing off earlier today. Geomagnetic activity is sitting at just under KP4 as our solar winds are coming in at 457 kilometers per second. And over the last couple of days, we saw upwards of 700 kilometers per second. And as well, the density bunches, which were very high the last 48 hours. And that was due to that space weather storm that we were expecting. We've had many plasma ejections over the past while let's just have a look here at the last seven days for activity multiple m-class solar flares from heightened sunspot activity for solar cycle 25 hello dean hill hello menu sunshine hello dj silas johnson welcome everybody to the stream and we're doing a live update right now. This video will be released at 8.30 p.m. tonight. It will premiere. So for those who are watching now, this is not a live broadcast. This was taken at about 7.30 p.m., about an hour prior. So yeah, as I said, upwards of 700 kilometers per second. This was posted here with Dilly Events Worldwide. It took about two days for the wind stream to finally calm down. Density bunches were up into 45 24. So yeah, it's been an event here the last three days with solar storms affecting Earth. And much love to everybody. I appreciate you hitting that subscribe button and as well hitting the notification bell so you don't miss an update. Thanks everybody for tuning in and for subscribing. Much love to you all for the memberships and the support to this channel. 
would not be here without you. So thank you so much. Keep inspiring and stay blessed. Just have a quick look here at our geospace magnetosphere. Waiting for it to load up. Here is the most recent ISWA space prediction spiral showing that large CME taking off from the outgoing position of our sun. Right at Parker Solar Probe. So large CME outgoing position. And here is our magnetosphere right now for pressure planes. As our solar winds were in upwards of 650 kilometers per second and now calming down to about 400. Let's get to earthquakes the last 48 hours as I did not produce an update yesterday, but thankful that I can do it today. We had a very active day across California, Northern California in Lake Alamnor. Sierra Nevadas had a 5.5 earthquake and as well a 5.2 magnitude, followed by about 40 earthquakes in the lake region. This is the last 48 hours for earthquakes. Just recently we had a 5.4 in Alaska as well. Hawaii is seeing sizable earthquakes, magnitudes upwards of 3.5. And then across the Marianas Trench, in Japan, down into the Philippines. Lots of activity as well, but nothing over a 6.0 the last 24 hours. Having a look at Fiji region, there were about four deep earthquakes the last 48 hours. Deepest earthquake being about 530 kilometer depth. Australia, northwestern Australia off the coastline there reporting a 4.5 earthquake. Close to or to Ale, North Africa, Somalia, right on the Somalia plate line, 4.4. Minor activity continuing through Turkey. Quiet through South America, 4.7 down there. Uh, South Sandwich Islands. In my mind, the last 48 hours were still way too quiet for this region here. And something is a brewing in California with that 5.5 and 5.2 earthquake. Having a look at USGS, we're going to show you here. This is where the earthquakes were Lake Alamnor, Northern California, just what? North of Lake Tahoe. But this region here is connected to the Lasan Volcanic Range, just range just northwest of here so recently we're still seeing in prattville california minor activity through the lake hello suzanne marie thank you so much that's right spike the like for mike thanks everybody hello heather gormley wow 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 good to see you in the live stream that's so cool Welcome everybody, and this is a live update. As I said, this will be premiered at about 8.30. So here is our little earthquake swarm in the lake that we had. It started yesterday morning, and as you can see, to the north, there are a lot of fracking stations. They're doing a lot of, uh, a lot of fracking. <laughs> All the way north to the Lasan Volcanic Field, which is just northwest of the region. 209 earthquakes the last 24 hours. Yesterday it was at about 350 as we had earthquakes back bouncing back and forth between Alaska and California. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about. But this is the Lasan Volcanic Range that I was talking about. As you can see, lots of fracking west of there and north all the way down through here, California. But it's just, it's kind of strange that we've got all this activity inside the lake. Most lakes and rivers, streams follow fault lines.
let's um, let's have a look see here try to get the last 48 hours without this laptop crashing <laughs> hello Cindy Frank welcome to the stream thank you so much for tuning in <clears throat> Again, thanks to everybody for watching. All right, let's put in, I guess we'll put in the last seven days. All magnitude. So here's the last seven days for earthquakes. But literally these, how many are in here? 65 earthquakes all occurred yesterday. 5.2 Canyon Dam, California. As well, 5.5 Lake Alamnor, or Alma, Almanor, there we go, Lake Almanor, California. So what's going on there? Quakes in the lakes. I remember this happening to Lake Tahoe a few years ago, or a couple years ago. Look at all the earthquakes the last seven days all around there. I mean, as we transition into springtime, we do have you know, expansion earthquakes that are happening due to the temperature difference. This is the last seven days for earthquakes across California. Again, thank you all for watching today. I'm giving you a live update. This is the 24-hour earthquake stream. Always feel free to come in and check it out anytime as we do give most recent disaster alerts and posts in the live stream chats. Look at that, almost 2,500 earthquakes across California and up into the United States the last seven days. Expecting a larger shallower earthquake here the next 48 hours. Largest we've seen the last seven days is the 7.6 Hi Hi Fo Tonga which occurred just about three or four days ago. Recent deep earthquakes lead me to believe that we could be seeing something even bigger and shallower. 4.3 Lavuka, Fiji, 562 kilometer depth. That occurred today. To all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day tomorrow to you. And make sure you treat your mother like the loveliest lady on earth just going to say hi to a couple people that are in the chat section right now hello the traveler stay tuned at 8 30 and this full broadcast will be premiered and again thank you so much for Subscribing to daily events worldwide, staying aware and prepared to the daily changes that are happening on our planet and on our sun as we journey another spin around the Milky Way. going to give you a quick weather forecast let's see if uh, the computer can handle it today <laughs> as the other day trying to do this live stream my laptop could not keep up yeah waiting yet again So we will, all, we will see you at about 8.30 for this live premiere. If you are all in here right now and going to check out the video when it's ready. Here we are overlooking North America. Huge high pressure ridge stretched across Canada and the BC coastline. Low pressure center, North Pacific. But high pressure ridge is going to block mostly everything straight into Alaska. Low pressure center coming through California right now 
and watch for that to bring even more extreme weather over the next 48 hours. Quite the storms brewing across the southern United States last night as it was being fueled by tropical moisture. Low pressure center through Central America, we're on Guatemala, low pressure center California, and another one just north of Texas. Putting this into motion, low pressure system affecting Atlantic provinces, Newfoundland and Quebec will see some snow, but other than that, it'll be a rainy and windy event for the Atlantic provinces. Extreme weather breaking out across the United States over the next couple days with this system as it's all tropical moisture being fueled right up into North America right now. Huge high pressure ridge over the Atlantic. Overlooking Europe, you have a low pressure system right over Italy right now. So that's keeping a gray days across Central Europe. High pressure ridge moving into the United Kingdom will finally usher away streams of moisture from a low that just came for you. Congo region, thousands of people have been evacuated, like tens of thousands of people from torrential daily evaporation rains across western central Africa. We've got Tropical Cyclone making landfall tonight as a Category 4 hitting Myanmar. And as well, another cyclone here developing through the South Indian Ocean. Typhoon developing off the coastline of Japan. Long range forecast, you're going to see everything ramp up especially across the Northern Hemisphere. Much love to you all, and thank you for watching. Give you a more detailed forecast, and stay tuned for any earthquake updates and space weather. Hope you enjoyed this update. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.